Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Tuesday Tate, um, CEO, President of Vision Focus Group, LLC. We used to be called Vision Focus Group Worldwide, but we dropped the worldwide, right? So Vision Focus Group. Uh, and we are here. I am here to help you bring your vision into focus. And as promised, I told you I would provide you one of the 10 steps to vision manifestation. And so that's what I'm here to do today. So a little bit about what it is that I do in Vision Focus Group. Vision Focus Group is what our tagline says. We help our clients bring their vision into focus. Our clients are corporations, uh, businesses, churches. Um, it can even be a couple, a vision that you want for your marriage, for your family. It could be you individually. But more of what I do is group trainings, and they are typically, again, at companies, corporations, or churches. And so as a certified trainer, as a certified coach, as a certified behavior analyst, what a part of what I do before I even get in in corporations to helping them create the synergy in their company, uh, to create um, more of a cohesive team building types of trainings and things like that, I often will do behavior um, analysis, behavior assessments using DISC. I'm certified as a DISC uh, consultant. So helping them to do that, I do other trainings, EQ, IQ trainings like that, just to help to build uh, better relationships, better cooperation, forming more synergy. Because if you have that, you can be more productive, right, on your team, in your department, in your company. So more of what I do is the training versus the consulting, but I enjoy all of it, and as well as being... Um, an international motivational speaker. So that's what Vision Focus provides. So uh, this is what I do. I am the vision consultant. I help people bring vision into focus. And if you had an opportunity to look at the video that I posted on Sunday, I talked about my vision development seminar on February the 4th. And I promised to give you one of the 10 steps to vision manifestation. So many of us uh, have visions and we, we're we living off this vision that's on a board or something that someone has said or some ideas that we've written down, but we don't see the manifestation of it. And as I said on the video I did on Sunday, I am hopeful that those of you who have followed me on Facebook, you see, or any social media platform, you see that I have moved forward in the vision that God has given me and have had success, great level of success. Certainly believe in God for more success as I enter into uh, this 2017 of my Jubilee year, 50 years old, believe in God for bigger, better, greater, and more. And I believe I am anointed. I am purposed to help you manifest your vision and to give you the tools that I was given and that God gave me and I have been living out to manifest vision you know, certainly uh, the basics of what I do in manifesting the vision that God has given me, living out the purpose that he's given me is prayer. As a Christian woman, it's prayer. Uh, as a minister of the gospel, it's prayer and it's his word. That's the truth. So that's just basic. Though the, that's, that's the undergirding uh, and the overshadowing of the 10 steps that you will learn uh, on February the 4th at the Vision Development Seminar. As I said uh, in the previous video, you will create a purpose poster, which most people call a vision board. But a purpose poster is really a working, quote unquote, document. It is something that you work from and even though visions can be afar off, your purpose is absolutely right in front of you that you should be working towards every day, but it becomes a visual map of what it is you want to accomplish. As I said in the other video, vision is certainly prayerfully something that God has given you. Other people have probably spoken into, and it 
also includes what you want. But purpose is absolutely God because we know what the word says in Romans chapter 8 that those he called, he predestined. And those he, he has this purpose for your life. He told Jeremiah that I formed you before you know, in the, your mother's womb and I called you and I set you apart and you have a purpose. And so purpose comes from God. Purpose comes totally from God. And so you will leave the vision development seminar with not only if you come knowing what your purpose is, then we can create that purpose poster. And again, I told you, the only thing you need to bring that day are your magazines you want to use to cut out from and some scissors, right? And I got everything else. And we are going to create that purpose poster. And it'll be a functioning working document. You'll also be able to uh, leave there with at least a first draft of what your vision statement, purpose statement, and mission statement is. Now, this four-hour seminar on March, on February the 4th, this four-hour seminar on February the 4th, I actually uh, do this with companies and it's a six-hour training for three days. So it's 18 hours. And so what you are going to get is the high level look at how to create uh, your vision, your purpose, your mission, and those 10 steps. And, and more of what's most, most important to me is truly helping you to understand and receive the steps to manifesting your vision. Even if you already have a vision board that you've created and you keep it posted in your office somewhere at home, bring it, bring it with you. And we will take it to the next level. Okay. And you will get a greater understanding of what that working your vision to manifestation should look like. And, and again, this is what I do. I, 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 celebrate and, and applaud those who do the vision board parties and you guys do that. And I think that's awesome. That's cool. Yet there's another level to this. If you really want to see manifestation, if you really want to birth that book, if you really want to birth that vision, if you really want to birth that ministry, if you really want your life to be what you believe God created it to be, then you need to be there on February the 4th. So What's one of the steps, Dr. Tuesday? Well, what do you think one of them is? And this isn't necessarily step one because I don't want to give you step one and then you can think you might try to figure out what step two through ten is. Believe me, this is how God gave it to me, okay? And so one of the steps is something that I think is critically important. It's critically important. You ready? You got a pencil? Yeah, pencil. Okay. And then remember, I'm going to give you the rest of these on February the 4th. I might give you another one before then, but we'll see. Know your reach. Know your reach. What does that mean? What do you mean, know your reach, Dr. Tuesday? What do you mean, vision consultant? Well, you need to know what you have in your hand. You need to know what is your skill set. What are you equipped to do? What are, what are you naturally good at in this vision? You may not even know what your purpose is, but you have this vision. Know your reach. What am I good at? What, what's in my hand? God asked Moses, man of God, well, what do you have in your hand? Well, we know Moses had a staff. He was a shepherd. He had a staff. That staff was used for many things. He used it to war with, to fight with, to keep uh, the enemy away from his wolves. He used it to keep the, the uh, sheep in line. He used it to walk with. He used it to help him to stay stable. Hallelujah. So it was a lot of things that staff was used for. I had done a video several months ago that talked to you about you are multi-talented, you are multi-gifted, and people will tell you you're doing too much. Stay in your lane. Well, you might have a highway, got six lanes on it. 
And so understanding there are things that you will be doing that will run equal to each other, right? And then there are other things that you'll be doing on your highway that are ahead of each other. And then there's some you're going to have to take an exit off because you got to put that down or you're done with that or that season of that is over. And there are other things that are going to run ahead of other things. There are other things that God's going to tell you, pull back on that. Even as I shared with you in the video the other day, you know, my vision to do a book uh, anthology. A book anthology is a collaborative writing. And that was 10 years ago I tried to start that. God told me pull that back. Five years ago, I thought I was supposed to go forth with it. Pull it back. And so now it's time. It's time. And so understanding what's your reach. What's your reach? Now, I'm 5'5". Five five. I know I wear them heels and it looks like I'm much taller. But my reach is going to be a little shorter right? Than somebody who's seven foot tall with them long arms. But you got to know what your reach is. You got to know what your reach is in the natural, what it is in the spirit. What is it that God has told you? This is what you are to reach, press towards to achieve this higher calling that is in your life to be fulfilled. So what's your reach? What's your reach? When you know what your reach is, you'll know who your audience is. You'll know who you are to who you are to reach because you know your reach. Who am I to reach? So, what's your reach? What's your reach? What's your reach? What 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 is it? What is your skill set? What are you gifted and talented and yea even anointed to do that nobody can do it like you? Whole bunch of speakers in the world, but they don't speak like you. They can't captivate an audience like you. Whole bunch of trainers in the world, but you just get up and you can do it. And people, when you, when you teach it, they get it. What is it? What is your reach? What's in your hand? And then who are you to reach? So I just gave you one of the 10 steps to manifesting your vision. You got to know what your reach is. And then if you allow to take it to the next level, and that's why I said, this is a 16, um, an 18 hour training that I do with companies and you're getting four hours. So I'm not sure if this will become a series. So then we'll be able to whittle down and narrow down to what uh, that reach really is. So you'll know individually. And as I said, that seminar on February the 4th, seating in that room is only for 50 people. And then of course the Epics uh, conference on April the 8th, I believe that room holds like 110, 120. My goal is 100 people setting 100 people on fire to walk in their purpose, to walk in their destiny, to fulfill what God ha uh, has placed in them to do. So we're going to teach you how to go, hallelujah, how to go from purpose to focus, to vision, to manifestation, to destiny. So one of the tips, one of the steps to vision manifestation is know your reach. I look forward to seeing you on February 4th. Get registered, okay? I look forward to seeing you there. Again, bring your scissors and bring your magazines and I'll take care of the rest. See you then. God bless you. Thank you for t uh, viewing my video and uh, prayerfully, let's uh, all be a part of taking this thing to the next level, right? Next level living requires next level exposure and next level thinking. I'll see you on February 4th and April the 8th. God bless you.